Well, Molly Davis is from the British Institute of Innkeeping. It really shouldn't be this stressful, should it, for customers and landlords and landladies? No, it shouldn't be, uh, particularly for the landladies and landlords of our, of our member pubs and the wider hospitality industry who have gone so far to do so much to make sure that their venues are safe and secure. You've got 9,000 members or so currently. How many do you think will not be still in the business by Christmas? Ahead of the Chancellor's announcements of further support um, for Tier 2 businesses as well as Tier 3 businesses, we were looking at 750,000 job losses in the sector before February of next year. The, the new announcements have definitely helped um, and we're really grateful to be recognised um, as a sector needing support more than other sectors. Um, but still, there are going to be massive redundancies within the industry if we don't do something to change uh, the regulations placed upon us. We're really happy to keep people safe. We're happy to do the test and trace uh, data collection. Um, we're happy to continue with the enhanced cleaning regimes and the face masks and, and coverings in venue. But curfew is something that has massively impacted our ability to trade and also Sage have, have been quoted as, as saying that it wasn't something they felt it was going to have a massive impact on infection rates but it has had a massive impact on our ability to to make money as an industry. And of course it's so far reaching isn't it because it's not just that sole business it's suppliers it's a whole chain of people that rely on that business. Absolutely. We employ as a sector and as a supply chain down through breweries and people who supply pubs, over 3 million people. That is a big, big number of people who stand to lose their, their jobs and their livelihoods. But more important, uh, or as important, is all of the great work that pubs and, and the hospitality sector do for their communities. Um, we are running uh, an award to recognise all of the people in lockdown and beyond who've been really the hubs of their communities. They've provided um, takeaways and deliveries. They've supported the elderly and vulnerable in their communities. We've seen this week many, many venues stepping up and providing free meals for school children who would otherwise not get them. Uh, and that is despite their own business fragility. They've also raised massive amounts of money for charity, for the NHS in particular, but lots of charities across the board, as they always have done and will continue to do so, because that's what pub people are all about. Molly Davis, good to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you.